and pray. So we know what? And pray. Yes. You know, this so many, most of us are guilty about this one. Very guilty about this one. Let's turn our scriptures to Bible to Mark 16. Mark 16, reading from 15 to 17. Mark 16, 15 to 18, sorry, to 18. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not be them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Amen. Amen. Father, once again we have come before your presence, O Lord. And in your presence there is fullness of joy at your right hand. There are pleasures forevermore. Yes. Speak your word in this season and breathe into our spirit, our soul and body, O Lord, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. As your word comes, Father. Father, Holy Spirit, do what only your word can do. And take all that glory. Did you say amen? Amen. amen? amen. We give God the glory. Amen. You know, uh, yes. You know, I was just coming from, you know, Ansan. Mm. And the road, the road was very clear. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Right. So that's why you see it so early. It was very, very clear. And the, the people in Ansan. The fine, the yeah. worship yeah. when you come to God's name. Yeah. Yes, so last week we have uh, four Koreans who came, yeah. and actually we have six of them that came. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. So we give God the glory, yeah. and we thank the Lord Almighty for what He's doing, for what He's doing in this season. Yeah. Now let's talk about soul winning. Whatever you want to say, I am a spirit. I have a soul. I have a soul. I live in the body. I live in the body. Now we are going to talk about soul. Now the question I'm going to ask you: Who won into Christ? Who won into Christ? <laughs> you are a soul, person, but other soul won into Christ. Who is that person? So you go home and think about that. Amen. Amen. I'm not here to give you questions and answers, just to get into the word of God. Mm -hmm. Now, when you see the scripture here, this is Jesus now. He said, Go ye into all the world. When you look at us today, you know, we represent different world. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Different, I'm telling you, when we are seated together. I'm telling you. He said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Preach the gospel, it is a preach money or preach your PhD. It is so. Preach your passion, what you have achieved. That's what we call later. But this is the first of all. Preach the gospel. Did you see it? Preach the gospel to every creature. And to what? To every creature. Then he said, He that believe it and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be done, that is, shall be condemned. So if you don't believe, the person is already condemned. He said, and these signs shall follow them. These signs shall follow them that believe. He said, in my name, they shall cast out uh, devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up something, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. 
They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So, if you are in this stage, there must be signs and wonders following you. Amen. You don't follow, you don't follow, but they follow you. If it's happening there, you rush there. <laughs> if it's happening somewhere, what do you do? You also what? Then the what about the one following you? No, ask yourself that question. What about the one following you? You read scripture upside down. You just read it. Upside down. No revelation. You just read it like, like any other literature books. You must be proud of who you are. Signs and wonders must follow you. You don't need to rush to where there is another signs and wonders. Maybe there's somebody just over there and it says I want this and you have to rush there. Another one again in Z level, you have to do what? You will worn out. Don't you never say you will worn out? You will worn out. I'm telling you, you just worn out. Then why are you born again? Why did you receive all this? There must be signs and wonders following you. You, you, you that, be, you that believe. There must be what? Following you. Signs, wonders must follow you. You don't need to follow them. I'm telling you. Look, my brother, do you know why you don't follow them? You don't know them. Do you know them? Speak in tongues for two seconds. You don't know them. Okay, now they see you don't know them, but you follow them. They worry about you won't follow you. He said, no, no, no. You see, you read scripture upside down. Look at what it says again. Look at what it says again. It said, and these signs shall follow. <laughs> I'm telling you, my brother and my sisters in Christ. See, and this time shall follow them that believed. Even the one that is the other side. Do they believe? Do you know the power they are putting on? <laughs> Do you know the power they are putting on? That's why it's good to read the Bible for yourself. Know the Lord for yourself. So that you be proud of yourself. I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters in Christ, there is no gift like soul winning. There is no what? No gift like soul winning. Soul winning is a commandment from God. He said, go ye therefore. Look at it. Look at it. He said, go. Go means a commandment. I'm not begging you. There is no please. Go. You devil. So go is a commandment from God. So so winning is a commandment from who? From God. Your love for Christ is tied to passion for soul. Because this is the heartbeat of God. I'm telling you, my brother and my sisters in Christ. Your love for Christ is tied for passion for what? For soul. My brother, my sisters in Christ. Lovers of God can never be brought down. Amen. Once you are a lover of God, you are after souls. I'm telling you, my brothers and who? My sisters in Christ. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and I'm telling you. Now, some people think that so many is helping the pastor. Hi. You will see. Actually, you think you are helping the pastor. You miss it. You are helping yourself. He said, go. It's not particularly for the pastor. Is it, is it for the pastor? It's for everybody. For everybody. For, for all. You know, let's, listen. Let me tell you this. The most targeted people are the innocent pastors. People, the pastors who say the truth. They target them. 
they tempt him. And let me tell you, if you tempt a genuine pastor, you will die. I'm not, I'm not abusing you. If you gossip a genuine pastor, you see something happen to you. You see, you see the play. You, you just see play for nowhere. Because the man of God that is genuine, he focus on Christ, but you go somewhere to gossip him, you are in trouble. All the job is to tell you the truth, but you go somewhere and begin to, you know, I'm telling you, if you make any small thing, you, you try to, you know, eh? because you try to, eh, I mean, what do you call it? You know, streamline what he's saying. And you stream it, you want to stream it. You are so sensitive in whatever he says. Be careful. Don't you ever say be careful? Yeah. I'm telling you, be careful. With genuine pastors are very few these days. They're, they're, not, they're not much. That is why I see many people falling away. They are falling away, falling away. So much people are falling away. Can you see it? They are falling away. Can you see it? I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters, you know, Christ. So, so, so people think that so winning is helping the pastor. Say, so, oh, I'm helping the pastor. No! Everybody will stand that day to give his own. I mean, I mean, every, yes, it's account to God. I stand here today, I will give account to God. What I did with my life while I am on earth. My going to answer, coming to school, is it for who? Is it for what? Is it for what? That day I will know. If what I'm doing is, maybe is, I'm telling you, that day I will know. That's why I am very, very careful that I will speak the truth, nothing but the truth. Amen. I'm telling you, I can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. That is why I am opening your eyes to the truth. Touch that ministry is a ministry that open you to the truth. Open the scripture, see it for yourself. Amen. We balance this ministry. We balance it. I'm telling you, my brother and my sister. Let's go to the next scriptures. Matthew 6, 33. Matthew 6, 33. What did they say? Matthew 6, 33. Matthew 6, 33. The kingdom of God and His righteousness, mm -hmm. yes. and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, did you see it? Look, he says, Seek you first, first in first, first in the first. You cannot seek God and sink on the earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I repeat that again. You cannot seek God and sink on the earth. Because the scripture made us to understand, it said, seek your force. Seek your force. The first thing first is to seek here. Seek your force. Not only is force, it's kingdom and it's righteousness. It said, behold, whatever you are pursuing, will be pursuing you. Those things you, see, you are pursuing after, that's why you, that's why nobody comes late. About that problem. You are pursuing something and you come late. Uh, uh, I'm telling you, you, you'll be coming it. Yes. I know some people who told me that they'll be, you know, they will not come early. I'm telling you, you just be coming late. And the question is, what are you seeking? Don't you never say, what are you seeking? What are you seeking? Now ask him again, do you go to work late? Do you go to work late? So this one here, what did he say? No. 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 What did he say? No. <laughs> I'm telling you, my brother, I'm my sister. <laughs> well, I'm telling you. So, my brother, he said, seek you first his kingdom, and he said, righteousness. Behold, what happened? Eh? So, there's addition when you seek. There's addition when you seek. You cannot sink when you seek first. To sink, impossible. Say, impossible. impossible. I cannot sink. <laughs> that is it. You cannot sink when you seek first the kingdom and its righteousness. What is righteousness? The nature of God. Whatever he likes, you like it. Whatever he hates, you hate it. It's, you know, you know, you know, it's so righteous. You right like living with him. So my brother, my sisters in Christ, Let's see Luke 15 verse 7. Luke 15 verse 7. Luke 15 verse 7. Luke 15 verse 7. I say unto you, 
that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Do you see it? Ninety-nine, no more than everybody. But only one, <laughs> only one is even better, bigger than the one that said, I know all. I'm telling you. So, so much knowledge, this is so much knowledge. Once you have knowledge, you want to go and form your own knowledge. And no, look at it here. Look at it here. Jesus is he talking? He said, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner. That means it's difficult to win a soul. Am I right? Yeah. It's difficult. He said one. He didn't say twenty. He said one or two. One, one, one. Thing. You think it's easy to win a soul? He said one sinner, one sinner that repented more than over 99 just persons which need not repentance. I don't need repentance. I know everything. <laughs> I know all. Full of knowledge. But you know nothing. But only one sin is My brother, my sisters, we must all go out for souls. Soul winning is the heartbeat of God. Let's go to Luke 14, 23. Luke 14, 23. Luke 14, 23. The Lord said unto the servant, yes. Go out into the highways and hedges, mm -hmm. and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. And he said, He said, Look at it. He said, He said to the servant, Go out to the highways. Sometimes when you when you're walking in the streets, do you do, do you do you you know do you tell somebody about Jesus Christ? But this uh, what you do, you know, you hide your Bible. Or maybe you hide, I mean you hide who you are. You be you know, you become two face. You know two face? You want to belong. <laughs> you know it, you want to belong. And the same time you belong here. Who are you? Who are you? Two face. You are here, you are here. You see somebody lavishing. Why don't you tell them about, about who? Christ. About Christ. Number one is to tell them about Christ. Number two, it is your character that will make him ask you, where is your church? Mm. Don't you ever say character? Character. Don't tell them, come to my church. Don't, if you try it, you are in trouble. You are a religious fanatic. You don't tell them, come to my church, come to my church. It's your character. The first thing is come to Christ. And the second thing is your character. Then we ask you, where is your church? Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Character is not here in the church. Character is when no one is watching you. When no one is what? what? Is watching you. That is character. The way you the way you reason outside, the way you do, and you are a believer. What brings people to church is a character that you portray. After you must have brought them to Christ, they will now ask you, where is your church? Where is what? Your church. I want to follow you to your church. Or where is it located at? Your character. Don't I never say your character? Your character. Now ask him, or oh, do you have character? Yeah. Do you have the character? Outside? Outside. 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 Okay. So what is the answer? Yes, yes I do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, have mercy, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. I'm telling you, my brother and my sister. So as believers, we should be more concerned about souls for Christ and not just for our personal needs. Character, character is the fruit of the Spirit. If you are full of the Holy Ghost, when they see you without any name, I'm a Christian, they will know. And this person is a Christian. Because they watch you many times. They watch you more than you watch them. I repeat again. They watch you more than you want to watch them. You see, they don't watch you. Every of your move, they know. I'll tell you. 
That is why when they come to church and they see you, you don't look the same. Because they've seen you somewhere with them doing, doing, doing some stuff that is not that is not of God. They will say, they will lose their mouth and say, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, my brother, we are into this. We, we, have, we have seen this thing. Me and Mama, we have been, I'm telling you. That's why when I look at you, I just look at you. I, I, I don't talk, but <laughs> I just I say, God, 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 please let him encounter you, oh Lord. Let him have an encounter with you. <laughs> if you have an encounter with you, you will, you will know what I mean. <laughs> and my brother and my sisters, in what? In Christ. <laughs> now, there are some benefits of soul winning. Benefit of what? So, yes, benefit. Everything you do, there must be benefit. Now, let's see Proverbs 11, verse 13. Let's see one of the benefits. Proverbs 11, verse 13. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, mm -hmm. and he that will add souls is wise. Number one, let's talk about divine wisdom. Don't you say divine wisdom? That is it. You gain wisdom. You gain wisdom because you are wise. He said the fruits of the righteous is life. I'm telling you, that whatever you touch is blessed. Because you are after God's own. Because those souls are for God, not for you. And God knew that. You know, you know, he knew that you want something in you, but you left everything to go and win your soul. I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters, that is it. It gives you divine wisdom. Then let's see the same Proverbs. Proverbs 8, 15 to 16. Proverbs 8, 15 to 16. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. By me princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Mm. Let me see it. Divine wisdom. By him, this is what? This is what? Divine wisdom. That is one of the benefits when you begin to win soul. Number two. Let's see Mark 1620. Mark 1620. What did he say? Mark 1620. Mark 1620. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. That is it. Signs following them. Amen. That means it enables you to operate in the miraculous. The benefit here, it enables you to do what? In the miraculous. In the what? Miraculous. I'm telling you, these are some of the benefits of soul. Really. Somebody help me with Luke 5. Luke 5, the very first reader, 1 to 7. 1 to 7. Quickly. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Mm. Nevertheless, at thy word I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Mm. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled mm -hmm. both the ships, so that they began to so sink. So sink. Could you Now, now, it guarantees you supernatural victory. Amen. Hmm. What else does it say? Supernatural victory. The net begin to sink. This is something that caught nothing. It caught nothing before. But I had a mission. He said, nevertheless, at your word. 
They have toy everywhere. They have toy here, toy here, toy here, but they caught nothing. <laughs> but because of your words, this somebody that has what they call it, experience in preaching. He has PhD in it, I believe so. He know where fishes are. He, he know exactly the season and the time. But Jesus Christ is operating in the Kairos. Say Kairos. Amen. 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 We are pretty the chaos. I'm telling you. Not only calendar, I just have to do calendar. No. Peter was operating on the calendar, operating on all experience. I know this is the season of the fish. Jesus said, Man, I'm right. Ah, we have launched, we have done everything. Let's flow at my word. But when you become, when you start operating in soul will, these are some of the benefits of soul will. It guarantees supernatural work, breakthrough. Something that is not here is natural, but supernatural. It's above the sea level. It's above natural. Somebody say amen. Amen. Now let's 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 open John 436. John 436. John 436. John 436. John 436. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto eternal life, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. That is it. Is it? It, it, it draws supernatural supply. Amen. You cannot go down. Once you are after God's people, soul winning, you can't go down. You cannot, you, you, you cannot sink. Once you are after soul, I'm telling you, my brother and my sisters, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my brother and my sisters in Christ. Let's see that same scriptures again, so that you can, you can, you, I mean, you can understand very well. It said, and in that repent, receive it wages. Basically, when you are walking, did they not just answer it? No, answer it. Maybe I don't know. If you are walking physically, what happened? The same thing. Everything is balanced. Only that the spiritual world does not come on time. <laughs> but the physical will come, you see it. I'm telling you. But you want it on time. That is, don't no, look at this again, my brother. And my sisters in Christ. He said, I need a tribute, receive it wages, and gather it fruits, you know, unto life and to honor. And both he that sow it, and he that reap it, what about? May rejoice together. Amen. And, you know, that's my brother. And my sisters in what? In Christ. So it draws supernatural supplies. Now let's see the last scripture for today. Acts 2. Acts 2, 46 to 47. Acts 2, 46 to 47. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from the house from house to house, they eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, mm. praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Did you see it? Now, the benefit of so many is for the church and for favor. Favoring the people. In the church. Look at this again very well, my brother and my sisters. In you know? help me out. In what? That is it. So I want you all to be happy with you, okay? Yeah. He said, and they continue daily. These are the apostles. They were fellowshipping together. 
and they continue daily with one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house. They eat their meat with gladness and singing of love. The next one says, Praise God. Thank God this word is a praise word. Amen. Praising God. Why are we praising God? For life. God has given us life. Praising God for a new place where God has given to us. Amen. He gave us this place. I'm telling you. So that we can be able to expand our territory. Uh, so, I mean, so that we can dance here. If you want to dance there, you dance there. If you want to dance this way, you dance this way. I'm telling you. So that you, so that you, you know, so that you don't say, ah, it's too tight. You start dancing like a gentleman. Now, no way. There's expansion already. So, you come to praise God, amen? Amen. What the Lord is saying? He said, praising God and having favor with all people. You cannot be a soul being without favor. You must have people with all people. Eh, with all people. If I leave all people, both in your workplace, both in your factory, where you work in your company, about people. Why? Because your mindset is about soul in you. It's about God. It's about who? It's about God. Then look at what Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord. Who are they? It's, it's not you, it's the Lord. It's the Lord that added to the church daily such as should be saved. God is the one that added to the church because it is his church. Hey, my brother, do you want favor? <laughs> we all will pray for favor every day. <laughs> but what do you do? What are you doing? What, what do you do? I'm saying, when you see so lavishing, lavishing in sin, you take it off and you take off your eyes. Why don't you tell him, sit, sit, sitting down, he or she, have you received Christ? With gentility, not with, a, 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 you know, with a, like, hey, have you received Christ? Yeah. Anyway, I, I mean, I'm telling you, or else you don't receive Christ, you will die. <laughs> They don't do that. That is not so winning of this one. <laughs> that is not so winning. <laughs> That's why you need wisdom. Don't forget, Hebrews, I mean, sorry, Proverbs 11 13. He said, He who wins a soul is what? And so he needs wisdom to handle soul, to handle a sinner. The Bible says it's a joy for one to be converted than the mighty man. I'm telling you, it's not easy to win a soul. I'm telling you, my brother and my who? My sisters in Christ. That's why I tell my brother and sisters in Christ. And in Christ. So the heartbeat of God is so, is soul winning. So this word is declared our word of soul winning and praise. Amen. Therefore, in this word, you all must bring the soul. Amen. What did I just say? You all must bring the soul. First, you bring the soul to Christ. Then your character, number two is your character. He will not ask you, where is your church? Or where do you fellowship? Your character will make him ask, or oh, her. Huh? Am I right or wrong? It's your character. You don't say, come to my church, come to my church. What are you doing? Is it your church? Is it your church? It's the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I will build my church and the gate of them will not prevail. He said, it's your own church. Come to my church. Come to my... What are you saying? What are you doing? Come to my... Is it your own church? Eh? Are you the CEO of the church? <laughs> it's God's church. He said, I will build my church. So what you do is to make sure you tell him, come to Christ. Then your character eh, is the one that we want. And then your character, your character, your character, your character. Character is the hidden, is the hidden tool in the inside. It's hidden. You can't see it. If you come out when pressure hits you. <laughs> oh my Lord, I repeat again. That character you are hiding will come out where what? 
friend will hit you. You will not know and say, I'm not at home. The voice will say, What am I going to do? Come on, sir. Uh, we are going to pray now. And uh, I want us to pray for this now. I mean, pray for the ground to you, uh, you know. I want you all to stand up. I'm going to pray for, for at least for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Amen. 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 Are you blessed today? Yes. To Christ? To Christ. First to Christ. First to who? To Christ. Then second one is what? How? Through your character. Through your character. Because your character is a smelly symbol. Now when you see it, when you call them, say, oh, look at that piece, they can come in. They'll be happy. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Hey, when you see, they'll be happy. This, this is it. I love this man. I love this, you know, this woman. She's always the peacemaker. Not the one that we see. Trouble because it's coming. Mm -hmm. uh, trouble because it's coming. <laughs> Is that good as a child of God? It's not good. I want to win them. How? Yeah, you want to win them, but your character is driving them off. Your character is chasing them off. So, my brother, in this in this in this month July, don't forget to declare our month of uh, sowing, sowing, and uh, praise. So, try your best possible uh, to win uh, uh, a soul. Okay, try to win a. Uh, a soul. Try to do what? Uh, try to win a, a soul. Try to do what? Win, win a, 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 a soul. It's very, uh, uh, yeah. it's very important. See? See? That is it. Try to do what? Win, win a soul. soul. Number one is to win a soul for who? For Christ. For Christ. The second one is to do what? Bring, bring them back through your character. <laughs> through your character. Uh, I'll tell you. <laughs> so now the question is, are you are you going to bring a soul? Uh, are you? Uh, uh, are you going to bring a soul? Don't make me to ask you by the word. That's how I do my own way of of ministry is to be offended is are you going to bring it so I know you now you are so you are so you are so you are so you are I'm telling you because look at it she spoke to who Esther right and the question, why are you still here? Through her character. <laughs> so this is a sample I'm telling you. Then, okay, okay, okay. Elin spoke to Sarah. Wait, spoke to who? You spoke to her about me coming here. Yes. Then. And who? Uh, then, then the question is, why is she still here? Because of her character. That is what I'm telling you. Then she also spoke to, you know, the brother. And the brother now, not only coming, they've got to do something. I'm telling you, he look for something doing, and when he's doing it, he's so happy. No pressure on him. Look at him over the place. You see him standing, look at him. He's so happy doing it from all his heart. He wants to work for God. So this is what they call, I know again, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. So this is what they call so many, the character. Character will make them stay. Character will make them stay. Character will make them stay or character will make them uh, go. go. And you don't see them again because somebody told them, not the pastor, there's somebody else. I'm telling you, yes, if they are coming, they are, they are coming, when they are coming, they want to avoid the person. You will not see them in church again. Can I just do it? Because I'm a sinner. Amen. Quickly, let's go to Genesis 1 11. The 
because I'm going to close my eyes of this. Genesis 1, 11 to 12. Genesis 1, 11 to 12. Genesis 1, 1, 11 to 12. We are going to pray on the soil of this planet. Because for the next six months, I want to see changes. Immediately. We want to pray for this land. This the soil where we are, you know, where we are stepping up, you know, and let's all. Genesis 4, Genesis 1, 11 to 12. Genesis 1, 11 to 12. Somebody help us. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, look at this very well. Who said, let the earth bring forth? Who said? The Lord. So, if God said, devil cannot take it out. Mm. Devil cannot obstruct it. Because when God says something, the devil is in trouble. Mm. I'm telling you. He said, the earth bring forth. Whenever you are saying, I command the earth. I, I command, command the earth. To bring forth. To bring forth. To me. To bring my breakthrough. To bring my breakthrough. To bring my breakthrough. To bring my breakthrough. Say, I command the arts. I command the arts to bring forth to me. Now to December. Amen. Now you can see. So you must give a command to this earth. And and it will obey you now. The earth was waiting for your command. So it will be all earth, all earth. All earth, all earth. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Bring forth my breakthrough. Bring forth my breakthrough. Bring forth my harvest. Bring forth my harvest. Bring forth my testimony. Bring forth my testimony. Bring forth my settlement. Bring forth my settlement. From now to December. 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 All earth, all earth. Hear the word of the Lord. Bring forth my testimony. Bring forth my miracles. Bring forth my blessings. Bring forth my settlements. From now to December. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are speaking to this world. From now to December. We must see changes. Amen. Now let's go to Luke. Immediately. Let's go to Luke 12, 16. 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 And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Mm -hmm. The ground of a rich certain man. Yeah. Say, I am that certain man. I am that certain man. I want you to understand it today. If you want to pray for the soil, the ground will be mash. Oh, please. Say, I prophesy. I prophesy. The ground, the ground. This year. This year. We produce plentifully. We produce plentifully. My ground will produce plentifully. My ground will produce plentifully. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to put your name there. Go ahead and put your name. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Put your name. Put your name. Say, I prophesy. Say, I prophesy. Say, I prophesy. My ground. Put your name down. Begin to, begin to. Yes, yes, yes. I don't go back in the ground. My ground will produce better for me. I go south of the ground of David Benjamin. My home will produce better for me. This year from now to December. From now to December. From now to December. From now to December. It will produce better for me. 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 Turn it along. It's in Jesus Christ's name to pray. Genesis 27, 27 to 28. We are still, we are still on this ground. Okay. They are hearing what we are saying. Okay. Genesis 27, 27 to 28. And he came there and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him, and mm -hmm. said, See, the smell of my sons as the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. Mm -hmm. and therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven, and the fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. Come on. Isaac blessed Jacob. You know what? I am smelling your document. I don't know. I don't know who I'm talking to. There's a smell of 
your document. Smell of your marriage. 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 I am smelling 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 your marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now look at the very smell. Do you see smell? There's a smell of your documents, smell of your marriage, smell of whatever you need. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, my brother. All these are prophecies, they are prophetic words. As I seek begin to bless you. I'm telling you, my brother, and my sisters. I smell it. As a man of God, I smell it. From now to December, from now to December, Amen. from now to December, Amen. you will see your smell of favor, smell Amen. of those things. I'm telling you, my brother. I'm telling you, my brother. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Good. Let's see Psalm 67, 5 to 6. Psalm 67, 5 to 6. Psalm 67, 5 to 6. Let people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Thou shalt bring the people in peace, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Let me see. So the earth is alive, don't forget. This earth is not a playground. It's alive. Amen. It's alive when you begin to praise God. It's alive. The earth is a spiritual thing. You don't play anyhow on this earth. It's alive. It's telling what you're saying. I'm telling you, my brother and my sisters in Christ. Let's see that scripture in Jeremiah 22. Jeremiah 22, verse 29 to 30. Jeremiah 22. Jeremiah 22, 29 to 30. Oh, don't hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, write it as much time as. A man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, mm -hmm. sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. There's a, there's a cause of holy man, the earth. My brother, my sister, sister, a projection was made. A projection was made. The earth will mark you for posterity. Amen. I thought you say amen. 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 I prophesy on this place I am today that the earth will mark you for favor. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The earth will mark you for a blessing. It will mark you for a turnaround. It will mark you for goodness and mercy in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My brother, the ground in which you stand will favor you. Amen. I said, the Lord of Amen. South Korea will favor you. Amen. Wherever you are, anywhere you, anywhere you are, I command the edge to favor you. Amen. I command the edge to favor you. Amen. I command the edge to favor you. To favor your business. To favor you in this land Amen. of South Korea in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are still talking to this ground. We are commanded from now to from now to the December. I'm telling my brother. Somebody help me with number 16. Number 16 verse 30. Put up all the scriptures if you want or if you like it. We are using it to pray. Number 16 verse 30. Number 16 verse 30. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open the mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them, yes. and they go down quick into the pit, then shall we understand that these men have provoked the Lord. You will see that this is a castle. That's why we normally pray or we prophesy that the ground will not be out. We need to say it. I'm telling you. And now you can see from scriptures. I'm telling you. Now say with me, say with me, wherever you are, say with me. Say any man or woman, any any man man or woman of a wicked heart, of a wicked heart that has vowed that I will not prosper. That has vowed that I will not prosper. That has vowed that I will die. That has vowed that I will die. Any wicked man or woman, any wicked man or woman standing on the earth, holding my testimony, holding my breakthrough, holding my breakthrough, holding my 
Make the earth open. And swallow them. One by one. 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 May the earth open. And swallow them. One by one. In my father's house. In my mother's house. In my inner house. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, my brother. So when the Western friend you're using that same scripture, so say any man, any, man, any, woman, any woman that has gone to the coven, that has gone to the altar to raise a sacrifice, taking my name, taking my, name, taking my pictures, taking my pictures to, a shrine, to a shrine to do me evil. Say so in six months, in six months I, prophesy, I prophesy the ground received their bodies. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. We are still praying, though. We are still praying. You know? I'm telling you, you see the ground. I'm telling you. Say, I prophesy. I prophesy. That which, that which in my father's house, that which in my mother's house, that which in my mother's house, that which in my inner house, that which in my inner house, that which fighting my life, that which fighting my life, that which fighting my life, in my mother's house, in my mother's house, in my father's house, in my father's house, that which in my inner house, that which in my inner house, that is fighting me, that is fighting my marriage, that is fighting my children, that is fighting my finances, that is fighting my own. Opportunities that is fighting my ministry wherever they are, as long they are standing on the earth, the earth will fight them. The earth will fight them. All earth, fight my adversaries, fight my enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, any man or woman that is fighting me, that is fighting my marriage, that is fighting my documents, that is fighting my. Whatever they are, on the face of the earth, let the earth fight them. Let the earth fight for me. Anyone waking up at midnight, using my pictures, using my money, using my name, making the confession, let the earth fight them. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Any man or woman. Any man or woman. Over my case. Over my matter. Any wicked man. Any wicked woman. Calling my name. Before an altar. Before a shrine. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the earth fight for me. 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 In the name of as for friends, not to be too happy in the foundation. Now, I want to pray as a servant of God. In my own office, I have an office here. Uh, in my own office, I stand as a servant of Elohim. And I prophesy as I'm commanded that any man or woman that wakes up at night. To make incantation, flying to a coven with your name, with my name, or my pictures to bring evil against me and you, or bring evil against my family. Wherever they are, may the earth fight them. May the earth fight them. May the earth fight them. Let the earth fight them. Let the earth open its mouth and swallow them. And swallow them one by one. One by one. One by one, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. I was in the Oh, bring it my brother, Oh, Somebody help me with Exodus 3 verse 5. Exodus 3 verse 5. Exodus 3 verse 5. Exodus 3 verse 4. And he said, Draw not nigh heaven. Yes, off thy shoes from off thy feet. Yes. The place where thou standest is holy ground. Mm. 
Say, I prophesy. I prophesy. God will establish me. God will establish me. On this earth. On this earth. I, shall I shall be established. In this earth. Yes. Lord, establish me. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have a word from Lara. Lara, God brought you here. It's not true with you. I repeat again. I've been saying it before, but I'm saying it again and I'm saying it again. God is not sure with you. He brought you here. I said he brought you here. Look at it. You left on that. Ah, it's in here. It's not much. You see the way God just speedily brought you back? Because he's not sure with you yet. God took you the other side to see for yourself. Then he brought you back. Say, my daughter, I'm not sure with you yet. There's something here you need to benefit from. And you you know, you will have it. Amen. Amen. God will give it to you. Amen. Can I hear amen? Amen. Can I hear amen? Can I hear amen? Amen. Can I hear amen? Amen. Somebody help me with it with Genesis 4. You know, I'm not looking at the time, you know. Uh, yes, with Genesis 4. Genesis 4, Genesis 4, 14 to 15. Genesis 4, 14 to 15. Genesis 4, 14 to 15. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. Mm, that is who Cain. Cain was the first person in the that was pronounced vagabond. But he doesn't want anybody calling him. What do you call him? I'm telling you. He doesn't want anybody calling That's why I say, ah, people will call me. I'm telling you, only God calling back and forth. I'm telling you, my brother, my sisters in Christ. Say every altar, every every altar, altar that wants to make me a vagabond on the earth. That wants to make me a vagabond on the earth. And a fugitive. And a fugitive. That altar. That altar. That altar. That altar. Be frustrated. Be frustrated. That altar. That altar. That frustrated my father. That frustrated my father. That frustrated my mother. Say, I prophesy. I break that curse. 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 In the name of Jesus. Say, I will not be a vagabond. I will not be a fugitive. I command faith on my life. I cry out for faith. I will say, I will not be a vagabond. I will not be a vagabond. Oh, yeah, the word of the Lord. Yeah, the word of the Lord. 
the next six months, in the next six months, produce for me plentifully. Produce for me plentifully. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Open to Job five twenty three. Job five twenty three. Job five twenty three. For thou shalt be laid with the souls of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Mm -hmm. He said, the beast of the what shall be at peace with thee. Now, let's read it again. I want, there's something I want to take out from that. Read it again. For thou shalt be a league. No, wait. Now, what is a league? A league means good company. Yeah. <laughs> a league. This is my league. League of this, league of that. A good, you know, a league means good company. Nice company. Ego's company. <laughs> I'll tell you, when you go there, you fly. Uh, hey, not chicken kind of leak. Mm. Look at it now, leak. Say what marriage? Oh, yes. Corporate. Corporate. For my favor. What for my favor? What for my favor? Say what marriage? 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the earth. I command the earth for my favor. Let the earth bring favor. Let the earth bring forth my favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed today? Amen. Go ahead and just begin to tell me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.